Hey everyone. So the Internet Download Manager, IDM, is one of the best and the most popular download manager for Windows. But sadly, it comes only with a 30-day trial now and after that you need to buy a license to continue. Now I also understand that most of you need such kind of good download manager for faster downloading and for absolutely free. And so I am sharing one of the best free download manager, which is the best alternative of IDM and you can really enjoy the features like IDM with this download manager. In this video, I'm talking about a download manager, which is one of the best alternative of IDM and it's absolutely safe and free. Let me show you if I copy their website and go to the virus total and paste their URL and hit the enter key. So you will find it says no security vendor flag this URL is malicious. So it's absolutely neat and clean. The website is safe. The tool is safe. So I downloaded it, tested it, and found that that this is the one of the best option for the IDM. So once you come up here, you will have to click on get app here. You can see their features, simple and modern IE, faster download speed, download queue, browser integration, speed limiter, download scheduler, all the facilities. All the features are being provided. Now, click on get app. Now it says choose a platform. You can go with the Linux. You can also go with the Windows. So I will go with the Windows here. So I will click on direct download a Z or you can also go with the zip option. As of now, I will go with the Z, so I will click on it. And the downloading will be quickly started. Now you can even download the extension depending on your browser. If you are using the Firefox or Google Chrome, you can download for both of them. OK, so the file has been finally downloaded. And I will click on it. Then you will be getting this kind of setup page. Click on next. Next, keep this all the option checked. Click on install and the installation will be started. It won't take much time and once it will be done, it says installation complete. So you will have to click on next and click on finish. This is how the Abbey Downloader Manager dashboard looks like and let me show you. I explain some of their feature so that you can better understand. So from the left and top menu option, if I click on file and click on new download, so you can start any downloading from here only by pasting the URL of that particular download. You can also import from the clipboard. You can also do the batch download. Then you have the task option. You can start the queue. You can delete any kind of files. In the tool section, you get the download browser integration. So let's say if I want to download the extension for the Google Chrome also because I personally use the Google Chrome. But if you use Mozilla, then you can also go with that. And if I click on it, the extension page will be up here. And then I have to click on add to Chrome. Click on add extension. And the extension will now be added here. Click on the puzzle icon on the browser and make sure that you pin this extension so that it should be displayed over here. Now let's come back to the dashboard again. And then if I click on tool then you have the setting option. And if I click on it. So in the appearance, you can just make it too dark or light, whichever you prefer language. You can change your language here to start on boot. Personally, I won't recommend you doing this because keeping the application on the startup that basically slow down the performance whenever you need it. I would prefer you to manually open it. Notification sound. Yes. You can keep this enabled download engine. If you want to use any kind of proxy, then you also have this option over here. Show average speed, global speed limiter, thread count. If you want to increase or decrease it, then you can do that. Dynamic part creation. Make sure it's been enabled. Show download program dialog. Enable it. So these are the options that you can check here.
browser integration again. If you want to disable any time, you can disable it, or if you want to change the port, you can change it. Now one thing again I would like to show you here, you will not be getting any option to activate it, because it's for absolutely free. There is not any kind of limitation. You can download the larger file, and there is not any trial period as well. OK, and you can check here. If I go to any of the options here, there is nothing popping up that you have to go ahead and activate it. Now let's see how exactly to work. So I have come to the download page here. Now generally what happens whenever you have to download any file, you click on 64-bit download or the download button. Now if you make a right click on the download button, you will be getting a new option here, download with ABM. OK, your new download manager will be automatically displayed here. And if I click on it, so you will find that the URL will be automatically detected. And if I click on download, and you will find that the downloading speed will be much faster as compared to the regular downloading. Okay, so that's all guys for today and hopefully you will enjoy and love this download manager, which is for absolutely free and the best alternative to IDM. And if you really found this useful and helpful, please let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.